JJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. All right, guys, so before I go to sleep, um, I just wanted to put this out. You know, once again, it's like misinformation kind of hurts people. And uh, Max Faden, I believe he's a subscriber. I don't know if he's a, a subscriber or not. But um, I want to, you know, just to show him, you know, just with proof. You know, because this is his comment. I'm disappointed as F. <laughs> I'm not going to curse. I'm disappointed as F. <laughs> Why do you promote this officially dying framework? <laughs> Your advice on learning PHP versus Node.js as the first language was legit. But damn, Ruby? <laughs> really? New startups won't use Ruby on Rails anymore. It's gone. <laughs> All the new startups are using JavaScript. I live in San Francisco Bay Area in the startup land. <laughs> I don't see no Ruby jobs. You should be advising learning PHP Laravel as the first language slash framework to get uh, the first job and then jumping headfirst into JavaScript world where the future is. Guys, um, nobody's telling people not to learn JavaScript. Um, I think... You have to learn JavaScript to be in web development. I don't know. So, <laughs> so I said, you know what? Let's do the research, right? Which I already did. I actually went over every major city out there. And no matter where you go, like Ruby on Rails is still doing good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no matter where you go. So we did San Francisco Bay, right? So we got... <laughs> I sent them a comment, which I'm about to reply right now. You know what? Let's do it right now, live. So, reply. Okay, so basically all I said was, great, we disagree. Do some research nation nationwide. I'm constantly getting job offers for Rails, so I don't know where you're getting your info. Google Trends, blogs, and Twitter posts not equal jobs. Any senior developer can tell you that. Plus. Same thing you're saying about Ruby is being said by PHP, Angular 1, Java, C Sharp, and many other programming languages. And by the way, uh, Angular 1 is not a programming language, but I put it in the mix because people constantly say, oh, it's dead. Angular is dead. <laughs> well, it's not because the jobs are still there. Um, yeah, and many other programming languages, but they are not the case. JavaScript is hot. Yes. Is everything else dead because it's not? Mm, because it's hot. Nope. <laughs> right. So are all the companies going to scrap their applications? Nope. Listen, type this into your ND search. So you do search title Ruby on Rails. Right. So it's, it's like this. This is for you guys too. If you really want to find out if people are looking for it specifically for a certain technology, a certain programming language, or a certain job that you really want. You want to become a, a doctor. You want to become a, a dentist. You want to become a, I don't know, plastic surgeon. Do this so you could get the exact thing that <laughs> you're looking for. So you search title, colon, parentheses, and put in the name of whatever it is that you're looking for. So for now, we put in title, colon, Ruby on Rails. All right, so we're going to do that. This is San Francisco, California. Today is uh, Thursday, 1.48 in the morning, January 25th, 2018. Okay, so we do a search. Click on there. Specifically for Ruby on Rails developer, there's 22 jobs. Okay, 22 jobs, meaning in the minimum is $110,000, and then it goes up. Okay, that's in San Francisco. So those numbers don't don't get too hype if you live in Oklahoma. <laughs> like those numbers do not exist in your area. But let's look at Node JS. Okay, specifically, right? Ruby on Rails had twenty two, and Node JS had fifteen. That's today, Thursday, one forty nine a.m. January 25th, 2018. You know, a month from now, two months from now, three months from now, six months from now, might change. A year from now might change. 
But at this moment, that's what's happening. So all the advice that I give you guys, I do research. I don't come in here. I'd rather not even tell you about certain technology unless I do the research or unless I really, really believe in it. Okay? Now, like I said, you know, he's not wrong about learning JavaScript. I tell people you got to learn JavaScript. It's the only way. <laughs> if you're going to do web development, how are you not going to know JavaScript? It's like part of the big three, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Like, you need those. So I'm not telling people not to learn JavaScript. But to be honest with you guys, like, this is <laughs> the reality of things. Like, there's a lot of jobs for Ruby on Rails. Ruby on Rails is not dead. It's something that even I myself at some point almost thought about it. That's why I did my research like a month and a half ago. Research, 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 guys. Um, yeah, and I mean, you could look at any major city, you're going to find something very similar to it, okay? So it's not just a thing where it's like, oh, only in San Francisco this thing happens. No, it's all over the country. I've checked every major city out there, and it just happens the same way. Now, there's some city that, you know, Node.js might be up by like five, six jobs. Okay, cool, that's fine. But <laughs> same thing as over here. You know, and the reason why I'm putting this is, like, specifically because he's like, yo, check, I'm in startup land. I'm disappointed as <laughs> I'm in startup land. Like, bro, I'm in startup land too, man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we live in the same area. I mean, I'm not in San Francisco, but I'm in New York City, which is literally, you know, you know, I was just in New York City. I just recently moved to Connecticut, suburbs. You know what I mean? But um, I was just in New York City. So it's like literally like it's the same thing that's happening in New York. Now, there's so many people applying for Node.js jobs because you got to understand anybody that knows JavaScript is applying for them. That's the truth. Even people who are not even qualified to be touching a Node.js application, people are getting hired for it, right? So if you look at something like Ruby on Rails, which has been tested, and has been proven, and not only that, that there's a bunch of jobs out there, like, why wouldn't you want to learn it? If you're a web developer, like, that's where you should, you know, really look into it. You know, it's not just Node.js. It's not just PHP. It's not just Ruby on Rails or even .NET. I would say all four of those, if you want to become a, a web developer, you should try to learn all four of them, right? But I give people options. They decide which one they want to stick with. You know what I mean? Like you decide, hey, you want to do Node.js and you feel you got more chances in your area? Do Node.js. There is a Node.js course. <laughs> there is a PHP course. There is a Ruby and Rails course. At some point, there is going to be a .NET course. Now, my job here is to give you guys the options and give you the things that really get you jobs. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with this little video because maybe tomorrow I'm not going to be able to post anything. And I think I found it to be very interesting that, you know, once again, people post comments and, and stuff without doing the research. And I think it's very important that before you even post anything, open your mouth to anything, you should do a research somehow, you know. Um, and I hope, in this case stays as a subscriber this is not getting him this is not putting him out there this is me just like this are the things that people say online and this is how you debunk it you know what i mean <laughs> you get what i'm saying like i'm just saying like you know what i mean that's like saying hey man bigfoot it's out there and then you come out of nowhere and be like hey man that was a, a guy with a monkey suit you get what i'm saying <laughs> so <laughs> anyways man have fun man have fun coding. Uh, love you guys, man. And, um, yeah, Max Faden, I hope you uh, just look look for the research, man. Look around. Do a nationwide research. Just take your time. Do some nationwide research. And it's not just on DICE, um, ND.com. There's DICE.com. There's uh, Remote OK, uh, the IO. There's... Uh, 
there's a whole bunch even in Lara jobs you see jobs for ruby on rails um <laughs> like anywhere you go like there's jobs for ruby on rails stack overflow like uh, freaking upwork <laughs> like there's so many jobs for like ruby on rails it's not even funny so it's like when you say hey man it's dead it's like you might as well talk to like the wall you know what i mean like it, it just doesn't make sense like i'm no longer letting myself get influenced by what other people say unless i do the research you know what i mean so yeah love you guys i'm out of here make sure you go to my website codingface.com currently we have you know the ruby course which is an amazing course and then from there we have the ruby on rails course which is also pretty amazing and you know me i break down topics that are difficult and i make it easy for you guys so yeah i'll see you guys later